I'm shocked that the CBN could pursue this senseless policy. Mm. And let me be clear when I say senseless. It's not about the idea of changing currency. This governor... Okay, guys, this very video you want, I want to watch right now. So now, all about the former governor of Edo State, Adams Ali Oshomole, and the current governor of CBN, Godwin Imefele. Now, the two of them, now, now they see for my space. So my country people, make one account watch and listen how Adams Ali Oshomole can give the current governor of CBN, Godwin Imefele, woto woto. Like, eh, he give a boss back, back to this month, you know, that shall never end. Oh, when I know say this issue of uh, narrow redesign, ever since when they take put this uh, issue of uh, the changing of uh, narrow notes, the saga here, the scarcity don't even turn. Before you know that, they want they will begin the protest for Nigeria. You understand? And meanwhile, my fellow Nigerians, my fellow youth, I need to apply wisdom. APC government, they know what it and they do. They want to make a protest start so that they will use this issue of a uh, Nera the design uh, scarcity of Nera scarcity of whether or say protests don't start. You understand? Before you know, they go postpone election. Before you know, you understand. They go follow back here at con. They will say APC don't win election. You understand? Meanwhile, according to the statement when Adam Leo Shomole used for inside this video, he says CBN Nera redesign policy is senseless. It may feel a deceive Buhari, and the intention behind it was to stop. The election says the former Edo State Governor, Adams Alio Oshomole. Well, my people, I bet before I go forget and before I go allow and watch this full video, I bet me could just follow my second channel. We will be picking one on one. As soon as I do so, God will continue to the bless on So, guys, me could not regard this full video. What goes sooner for the next update coming out soon? Respect, one love, guys. I try to scream Edo, I yet. We have only one local government with banks. And so even the most industrialized part of a do state, like Okwela, where you have two giant cement factories, there is no bank there. And so it was painful to me, and I was shocked. Because, you know, you and I sit in the city, we pontificate about elections, etc., etc. When a small farmer, a motor mechanic tells me, in the course of my campaign, that the POS operator uh, in his in his neighborhood insists that he should pay twenty percent. So when he wants to withdraw five thousand, he has to part with one thousand. Nigeria is not exactly a banana republic. I am shocked that the CBN could pursue this senseless policy. Mm. And let me be clear when I say senseless. It's not about the idea of changing currency. This governor has broken no new grounds. Because we have changed currencies before. And I dare say, check the records. When General Buhari changed the colors of the Naira, when he did, in his first coming as military head of state, he did not forbid the banks from paying people in new notes. He did not impose restriction as to how much you can withdraw provided it is your lawful money to assume that every nigeria is corrupt that the motor mechanic is corrupt and that this policy is meant to check corruption the cbn is not part of the institutions charged with the responsibility of ensuring free fair and credible election that is not in the in the act establishing the cbn so when i hear argument that seems to criminalize and in a sense blackmail the political elite as though they are responsible in fact at the point i got angry and i said if corruption is at the heart of cba challenge how do they explain that you show because you host easily one of the most popular tv program and so if you were to report a camera you can get a dollar at four four hundred and 40 naira to the dollar and your cameraman who knows nobody he wants to pay his child school fees he has to go to Wuse market to buy the same dollar at 740 naira if that is not corruption what is it so, so I mean, wait a minute yeah. so i think what i was saying is that if you have pockets of riots 
and protest. And because our armed forces, whether the police are obviously the army is not trained for that, to manage discontent, mass uprising, you may end up with a situation where you are unable to conduct election. And so it's not only APC that we lose. Everybody will lose. So do you notice that evil article appeal for extension? Citizens should beg government to extend the value of their legitimately earned money because in a democracy, don't forget that what distinguishes democracy from dictatorship is popular participation, a sense of ownership of public policy. And so it is not enough. We can't be governed by decrees. If the president cannot govern by decree, nobody in Nigeria should govern by decree. We must be governed by our consent. But so, we have parliament. Yeah. So, and I asked the question, yeah. uh, comrade, uh, the CBN is, was reappointed by President Muhammad Buhari. Yes. President Buhari is of the APC. Yes. We can then say this is an APC-led government. Can yes. you excuse whatever is happening, the economic hardship on Nigerians? Uh, uh, can you excuse the APC from all of this? Unfortunately, it's a very difficult question to answer. First, we can't deny the fact. And for me in particular, I was the national chairman, and I went around the 36 state campaigning for APC victory both at the presidential, senate, national assembly, governorship, and even house of assembly. So I cannot order any guys pretend or even attempt to delete myself from the APC. And even now, I am a candidate on APC platform. And I'm not ashamed about that. But having worked as chairman, which enabled me to work directly, to relate directly with the president. I know the trick that the CBM played. Because we have a president who has told the world, and I believe he was right, that if Nigeria does not kill corruption, corruption will kill Nigeria. And he meant it. Even in informal talks, we do say that if you want the president to accede to something, you must assure him that what you want him to approve we not in any way translate to a corrupt practice. So I can guess, because I wasn't there, that in obtaining the approval which the president said he gave, I believe the CBN deceived the president by amplifying the need to have a corruption-free electioneering, as if election is the only project that this president has responsibility for. Because once you tell the president that, you know, we have to remove corruption from our electoral system, we must prevent vote buying. And by changing currency, those who have stock money, they will be trapped. An election will be free, fair, credible, no vote buying. The president boy that I know will have no difficulties come in come agreeing. Uh, so we, however, we, 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 however yeah. wait, she, the CBN governor knows better than that. He knows better than that. He knows that, I mean, even to talk of vote buying, I'm sorry to say, and I don't want to be misunderstood, but I'm not saying anything new. Somebody said so recently. We have moved from a situation where all you need is to compromise the police and the INEC, and you write result, and they are declared. Then you start balancing the ballot papers later. The one in which the, those seeking the election are now afraid of the electorate. If people say you are buying vote the way you bribe the police, you bribe people you are afraid of. Even that, it's not as bad as where we are coming from. I am not justifying it. I am on record as launching one man, one vote, and try to popularize it across Nigeria. I believe in it because if there is no free, fair election, people like me could have had a chance to contest for governorship. C come so, yeah. Um, I, 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 the I, I, time you, yeah. excuse me. You could see that the tension of the bank, the tension of the bank is not to eliminate abuses, is to prevent the election from taking place. And let me ask you, Ivo Einek will have to revise his budget if 
it budget to buy PMS to distribute election materials. And you now have to pay 500 naira or even 1,000 naira a litre, like I paid last week. Where will you find a difference? You're going to do a supplementary appropriation? If you have riot like you have in Ibadan, you had in Benin, I don't know elsewhere, and they were taking place simultaneously, and you are now dealing with the issue of protecting life and property, will election become a priority? So it is in that context that whoever scuttled the election would have scuttled the chances of APC winning the election. But I'm happy that even Atiku appealed for extension. But in my view, I think the National Assembly captured the mood of the people. And I'm happy about that because what distinguishes a dictatorship from democracy is the presence of parliament. They live and they represent 360 constituencies in across the 774 local government in Nigeria. They are in touch with their people and they have spoken. Nobody should lay claim to be more patriotic than the other. Now, those poor pensioners who were crying to me in Edo, what I have to do? I couldn't own on to the decision because I was not consulted. It's not a party decision, it was never debated at a party forum. So I believe that the governor of the bank just play on what he considered to be the president most, because the president is truly committed to anti-corruption. And so he uses that to achieve other objective. I try to scream.